The news updates. America had about six plots to stop Tinubu from becoming president, but God disgraced them. Tella says, Do welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to the news. But you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. A seasoned journalist and public affairs commentator, Laide Tela, has shared his views concerning the recently con conducted presidential election. The presidential election was won by the standard bearer, flag bearer of the All Progressives Congress, Ashuaju Bola Ahmed Tsunubu. He defeated other strong contenders in the race, including Peter Obi of the Labour Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, and Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso of the New Nigeria People's Party to clinch the apex political seats in the country. The presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party and the Labour Party have, however, claimed that the presidential election results declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, Heineck, were manipulated in favour of the president-elect, Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Reacting to the outcome of the election, Laida Tella, in an exclusive interview, with the Punch newspaper said, Hillary Clinton, despite winning, was not declared winner. The white supremacists of Africa, of America, are the manipulators of the American election. They must be told the truth. They should leave Nigeria alone. America should leave Nigeria alone. Pardon. They are the ones that killed Abiola. They had several plots, about six plots, to stop Tinumbu from becoming the president of Nigeria. They did everything possible, but God disgraced them. The well respected and revered journalists added that they are the ones that killed Abiola, and now, they want to make sure that Tinumbu will not become the president. They did everything possible in their power, but God has disgraced them. A journalist, a renowned journalist, has actually spoken concerning the president-elect of Nigeria that American people are trying to stop Bala Metonumbu from, the, from being the president, from being sworn in, and that America should leave Nigeria alone. What's their business with Nigerian governments? It is whoever Nigeria votes for that will be declared winner. And in um, the same America, Hillary Clinton once won the election but was not declared the winner. There, there were manipulators who manipulated the election results and thank god that god has disgraced this american people it was actually asked a question that what does he actually mean by our kind of democracy and now and how does that differentiate from that practice in the united states and he said that God has disgraced the America, even the opposition parties who has gone to court to seek legal redress, that Ashuaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu will be sworn in and will be the president of Nigeria. The, remember that the opposition parties, Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi, went to the court on some petitions against Atiku Abubakar to make him to not allow him be sworn in and if peradventure 
is either they announce Peter will be as the winner, or they will do another. They will declare another election that will be between the Labour Party and the PDP. And also, a petition that was written by Peter Obi was that Atinumbu was a drug lord, a drug trafficker, and how will a drug trafficker be the president of a whole country? But despite that, the courts, the, the, their suits was not, was disqualified. And Tela is saying that Tinumbu will be declared the winner of the Tunumbu is already declared and there's nothing that can actually happen any longer. It cannot be disqualified. So the America should stay in their state, in their country and leave Nigeria alone because this is all about Nigeria and not America. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view? Kindly share your comment in the comment section. Thank you.